Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. I do not take it for granted, guys and gals. I do not. I do not take it for granted. You could be doing anything with your time. So I'm very appreciative that you're sharing some time with me. Now, go ahead and hit that like button. That's very important. It helps the algorithm. Go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, man, you do not want to miss this great content. And also share the content on Facebook or on any other platform. Share the content, man. I want to get this word out uh, to as many people as I possibly can. And I do appreciate the support. Now, before we get started, I want to encourage you guys and gals to go over to atoastofthemen.com. The website is up. It's fully functioning. We provide services on there that you can hire us for. Uh, one-on-one consulting, uh, public speaking, some coaching. We, we got everything on there. You can order the book from the site. Yes, you can order merch from the site. Now, the merch you see on the site, man, is just a small portion of what we got coming out. Man, we probably got at least 100 variations of a Toast to the Men uh, hoodies and uh, shirts coming out. Just different things, man. So, yeah, go to the website, a toast to the men.com. Man, it's nice. I'm proud of it. Of course, I'll still be tweaking it, but man, I'm proud of the site. I put that together myself, put a lot of time into it. And like I said, I'm still tweaking it. So yeah, go to, uh, you know, different entities within the site and check it out. We got some pics on there, some video, some of my reviews. Uh, yeah. So check out the site, man. I'm proud of it. Support the site. The site gets hits. That looks good for me. Digital real estate. So, yes, please support the website, a toast to the men dot com. Please support the website. Again, hit that like button. And then toasters and toastettes. Man, I want to talk about vampires. Yes, vampires and opportunists. Man, you have people who will suck the energy out of you, who will use you for an opportunity, a selfish opportunity and have no intent uh, of giving back, have no intent of exchanging with you, trading with you. It's all about them. And a lot of times, man, these people really do not even like you. They don't even like you, but they understand and they respect what you bring to the table. They see your gift, they see your energy, they see your talent, and they wanna be associated with you. Yes, yes, man, and this could be family, and let me get this camera straight. This could be family. Uh, this could be close friends, people you grew up with, childhood friends. Uh, this could be a spouse, a neighbor, a coworker, a, a manager. This could be anyone, man. Strangers, opportunists, man, vampires, man. They will suck you dry. They will suck your energy dry, your talent, your gift, until there's no more, until you know you're empty. And you got to be watchful, man. You got to be watchful. You got to be cognizant of these people. Because before you know it, man, you could be attached to these people and be codependent upon these people, man, for years and years. So a lot of times, man, when these when these relationships come to an end, and a lot of times it's an abrupt end, count your blessings. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Count your blessings because you probably dodged a bullet that have been, could have been lingering in you for years and, and and so you know the quicker you can stop that pain stop the bleeding the better so so count your blessings now a lot of times man we can't recognize these people because we do have a codependency everybody likes to be needed everybody likes to be wanted everybody likes to uh, get a pat on the back and be used and when i say used uh yes used not misused, but used. Being used means you have value. So it feels good to know you have value. Somebody wants your talent, your gifts, your services. Somebody sees that and appreciates that. Uh, you think they appreciate it. And they want to use that, utilize that. Perfectly fine. But I've said this many times in videos, man. I've said this in the book, A Toast to the Men. There must be an exchange. There, there, there has to be exchange, man. Uh, where you give and I give. Now, on the surface, it may not look like an equal exchange, 
you know, you really can't value certain things. But the thing is, I'm going to give you my best and you give me your best. Now, and like I said, on the outside, it may look uneven. But the way you weigh the value of something is, is it my best? That, that's it. Your best and my best may not look the same, but they should weigh the same because it's our best. It's the best I can do. And that's all you want. That's all you want. The best a person can do. And you want to give your best in a relationship. Uh, and when that's not happening, man, you may be uh, getting taken advantage of, you know. So anytime I ask anyone for, for anything, I see the value in someone. I always ask, OK, now, what can I do for you? You, I see what you can do for me, but what can I do for you? I always ask that. What can I do for you? And that's very important, man, because you want everyone to feel that you deal with. You want everyone to feel appreciated and not taken advantage of, you know, so you got to pay attention to that. Are they asking what they can do for you? Right. They know what you can do for them. But are they asking what they can do for you? And are they willing to give you that? Yeah, you really got to pay attention to that, man. Collectively collectively the female demographic is my biggest supporter like as far as the book and i know the next book i'm coming out with palmer christie they're going to come support even more that's the biggest support of the female demographic but as a single individual i will have to give that crown to soul immortal there has not been one single individual that has been more impactful uh, in my movement, in my brand, in my book, uh, my personality, public personality, social media personality, than the brother Soul Immortal. Yeah, that brother put me on this platform on his stage and gave me that stamp. Man, my book sales rose greatly. My my. Uh, subscription my subscriber number rose uh, greatly so as a single individual no one's been more impactful than the brother soul immortal and anytime I've dealt with soul there was an exchange now on the surface he can bring more than me for the social media platform because he has a bigger uh, platform and a bigger reach but I always felt, man, I'm getting the brother's best and I always wanted to give him my best. You know, anytime he wanted me to speak or cover for him in the power circle, man, I stayed up studying for a day or two. Like I, I took it serious. I'm going to give my best because that's that brother's brand. That's his baby. And so I'm standing in for him. I got to represent. Anytime he invited me on this platform, I was prepared. You know, I was professional and, and that's giving him my best. You know, and that's all you can ask for anyone to get their best. So you got to be watchful about vampires, man. Soul suckers, suckers, uh, uh, energy drainers. Yeah, opportunists. You got to listen. You got to pay attention. You really got to pay attention to what's going on. And a lot of times when they really expose themselves and you got to be watchful, they really expose themselves when you're at your highest point yes when you're at your highest point you gotta look at mannerisms you gotta look at facial expressions you gotta look at what's being said what's not being said what's being done what's not being done just pay attention and they also come out and expose themselves at your lowest point or, or what they perceive as your lowest point gotta pay attention you really gotta pay attention um, when rumors are spread, when accusations are made, do they check with you? Do they give you forewarning? They contact you, or do they jump to conclusion? Do they draw a conclusion? You see, this is how they felt about you all along, right? A lot of times, these people don't really like you, but they see an opportunity. They see what you bring and they'll approach you. I'm telling you, they will approach you because they see your talent. They see your gift. But as soon as it, you're at your highest point, 
they fill away. As soon as it, you're at your lowest point, they fill away. You really want to deal with people who are even killed. Even killed people. You know, they're able to celebrate you and they're able to encourage you at your lowest point. That's that's really who you want to attach yourself to. And there's very few people you're going to run into like that. Because a lot of us, man, are just, we have these hiccups, we're going through things, we have insecurities, for whatever reason, man. And uh, you just never know hidden agendas or how people feel, what's in someone's heart, their subconscious. You never know. And actually, you might be that person. You might be that person. And I, I, right off the hand, I'm, I'm sure I was that person at times. You know, uh, but be protective of your gift. Be protective of your time, your energy. Yeah, really, really be protective of that. And be careful about who you attach yourself to, who you share that with. You got to be very careful. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just protect yourself at all times all times at all times protect yourself be careful and uh no no try to get to know someone's motivation why do they want to attach are they willing to exchange are they willing to give you their best have a watchful eye hey man it's always love peace